This is part of the exclusive All Signs readings. That's typically over at Harmonia Friends paid membership area. But each uh, each day I pick a new element and today it's air sign. So you guys get to get the public reading. But don't forget, it's not just one area in your chart. So if you want to check your sun, moon, rising and Venus. And if you know something resonates in this message, there may be a message on the rest of the readings here that are found in the exclusive area. And just go to my website to become a member. Here we go. Let's see what's going on for air signs. What do our air signs need to know in this energy? These are timeless when you feel guided to listen to this. Strength air signs. Oh, look at that Leo energy. Where do you find your inner strength? Where do you find your inner strength is what's in question here. Well, I do feel like you've been through some obstacles, some battles here. Um, I do feel spirit is reminding you to call upon your inner strength. Seven of swords. Hmm. The queen of swords. Well, that's your energy, air signs. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius right there. That's your energy. <clears throat> You're nervous. You're asking me to add those swords up, eight of swords. This is this is sabotage. Um, there's something that you're hiding. You're very nervous about. You're having thoughts about. But I do also feel afraid that, uh, I don't know, your pride's involved here too. This involves your pride. Uh, air signs. It's not always a card here of lying and deceit, but I feel like some of the things that are going through your head, well, I'm not going to say I feel like, most of the garbage and gunk that's going through our head air signs is noise um, and is usually not feeling good enough. But I do feel like there is a decision here. Um, you're trying to be authentic, but there's something here not spoken. There's something here not spoken, afraid to afraid to speak the truth, afraid to communicate, afraid to open up. I mean, this is someone here who's very, very calculated. Um, but I always love this Queen of Swords because the way she's pouring the picture here and, you know, the water here is always in the element of emotions and feelings. But I do feel like there is something here about opening up your heart space um, testing out the waters here, but you know, it's a very dry land here. So you're, you know, oh, to open up this heart space is also being very logical about, is it time? Am I ready? Am I ready to open up my heart space? Um, I feel like you're definitely in your head and hiding something. So that's going to be the title in your head and hiding something. You haven't vocalized this yet. So we're going to see using the Nightmare Before Christmas deck. Reversals are now up for Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. I'm going to draw the cards. These are going to be timestamps. So just go to the timestamps uh, for each one. Or listen to them all if you want to. It's up to you. Here we go. And these are, like I said, if you have other elements in your chart air signs, the, all of the ones on my membership area are time stamped and they have titles to help you see if you know you're guided to go to that message or not all right libra is up let's say libra is at there we go libra well the four of needles you're very restless holy moly <laughs> oh my god restless afraid of missing an opportunity holy smokes here This is a card here, overindulgence. I almost want to say I'm going to the cup or I feel like I have to drink or escape something here. I'm trying to keep really busy. Um, I almost feel extremely restless or trying to focus at work here, but trying to remain peaceful as well. But this is someone here who's struggling uh, to keep a clear mind. And I want to say it has to do with feeling that you don't want to miss out on the opportunity. You don't. They're asking me to subtract those cups. Um, hmm. It's a five of cups. 
it's almost afraid not uh, of a situation here that uh you may have missed an opportunity libra now this doesn't have to be romance it could be an opportunity here in the past that you had declined maybe you were not ready for there were other things that you were more focused on but i also feel this energy of really wondering if it's time to give it a shot again do you give this a shot or is it too late um can you face this rejection Ooh, it's gonna be tough for some of my libras this is someone here who would have to not only admit their pride but that maybe they were selfish at one point here for not indulging in this opportunity here it's also taking accountability, all right? Um, I got a Libra here who's massively about to take accountability when it comes to something where it comes to a, a missed opportunity here. Now, like I said, it doesn't have to be romance. Um, it could be saying, you know what, I'm going to go and see it. It's, it's, I might as well do it now. But I do feel I'm very nervous here. I do feel, you know what, here's what I got to say. Libra. When a person makes a mistake, owning up to it and being communicative, like when you can communicate to it, and pouring out and being vulnerable and living up to your mistakes and saying you're learning from them is entirely different than just saying, I'm sorry, or um, is this possibly an open position, or is this something that I should redo? Now, some of you, this opportunity here was the fact that uh, you didn't get started on a wish or dream here, all right? Uh, you procrastinated on it, okay? You escaped from it, um, not wanting to fail, but the whole point of failure is, is to have some failure so that you can succeed, Libra. Um, but we have someone here who has been hiding their emotions or hiding their regrets um, not being as, is getting very restless about wanting to open up an opportunity. Um, but that would mean that they would be entirely vulnerable. Sometimes it's best just to get it out. So see what happens, Libra. That's what I got. All right, let's see what's going on for Aquarius. Aquarius is now up. Let's timestamp this for. All right, Aquarius, here we go. Oh, the moon, Pisces energy. Oh, see, you're really listening to your intuition, even though you're keeping something secret here. For a presence that I was holding on super tightly. Hmm. Oh, what are you holding on to? What is going on here? The king of presence, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, could be dealing with the earth sign here. It doesn't have to be another individual here. Um, okay. Well, this can go two ways. You are either presenting a gift, something to do with the holidays. It really is. between. Ho it's between Halloween and Christmas. I mean, I'm using the Nightmare Before Christmas deck, so it's between those two holidays, all right? Um, it's like the, it's not time to release the party yet, all right? <laughs> it's not time to give all the good hors d'oeuvres and shit like that. Um, you are about to make an investment. Now, some of you, you are about to make a business move, a really big move that is involving your intuition, which is incredible. It's going to be awesome. What you're holding on tightly here is you are gaining the reserves here, okay? Really working on some, some of you are massively, and if you aren't, start saving like a mofo, all right? Because there's something here that's being presented here of, getting over the loss or I have a present for you. And they're asking me to add that present here would be the five of presents. So this is someone here who's, who's gone through some massive losses um, financially. Uh, and if it's not financially losses here of individuals, stability, I don't know. I feel like you were stripped down. I feel like I had an Aquarius here who was very stripped down, almost like the point where their, their pride got kicked right? The only thing they're left with here is that inner strength and confidence and endurance to keep going on. But 
the Aquarius here knows when to open up or what to feed into or what to pour into. Uh, but you are not ready to talk about it yet. But I do feel like whatever reserves or what you're holding on to or what you're building on to is going to be gifted or there's going to be other individuals you're going to be presenting this to later on. Um, it's not time now. Now, if this is a specific person, this could be a gift or an offering um, that comes, like I said, between the holidays. But this is something that's a, a massively either about partnership, about, hey, I've decided to do something and invest in. It could be a new business. But there's excitement here. I mean, if you remember Jack Skellington, he was so excited when he got to, you know, not just be the Jack Skellington of Halloween, he became Sandy. Sandy Claus. Santa Claus. Whereas the kids called him Sandy. Um... He was excited. He loved the idea of presenting something that excited individuals. So I do feel like you are building up or saving for something to excite either other individuals or you haven't expressed this to your friends yet or to your family or to a specific person, a gift. So I have an Aquarius here who's about to be either presenting a gift to others and sharing it. Um, about their big ideas or what their next moves are, or this is someone presenting it to you, right? And But I think you intuitively, if it is the other way, you intuitively feel this coming anyway, all right? That's what I got. All right, let's see what's going on for Gemini. Gemini is up. Gemini. Gemini, we have death, Scorpio energy, the seven of potions reversed and the three of potions. Well, you have clarity now. There's no confusion here. I feel like the secret is out. Um, there were some people in your life that had to go and I want to say it's people because this is usually the cups are all about love and emotions, feels. But I want to say these feels happen in regards to relationships. All right. There was one particular relationship, Gemini, that had to go. But at the same time, when this relationship left, also a massive transformation came on who was when within your circle. I do believe that there are certain individuals who know what you've been through, have seen this, um, do love you, do support you, because that's a card of celebration of happiness, all right? But I also see the pouring here of this, and they're asking me to add that, which would be the four of cups. I also see you sabotaging relationships that are actually healthy for you because of this. So be careful that you don't self-sabotage or destroy other relationships that had nothing to do with this, all right? This is over. This is an end of a cycle. This was a massive learning situation, very spiritual connection with this person. Okay. Could have been a karmic, doesn't have to be a lover, but you definitely had a cycle here that was full of lies, full of deceit, made you very confused as to what the right decision was to make. But at the same time, you knew you had to cut it out. And that's what the queen of swords did, Gemini, you cut it out. And by putting this to the grave, that's where the change came in place here of c confusion here of that this person should have never even been in your circle or even put an option or if they made you an option should have never been the case. But I also see that there's individuals and I want to say there's more than one who are relieved that you cut this individual out of your life, but also feel that you know, hey, let's hang out, Gemini. Hey, you know, we're so happy for you. We support you. But I also feel that whatever emotions you give, you're afraid to share. So you hide a lot back. You are afraid to feel to some extent or to pour into these other ones because of what happened here. Don't let one situation or one person sour 
all of the other people who actually were there always to support you. And there's something here about it's one thing to keep something hidden, but when you're so secretive or you come off the, the plane here of cold, remember that the only way you really learn and grow in life is through relationships. So you can't cut yourself off entirely from everybody. That's what I got. All right, air signs. That's all for the public reading today. If you want to see more of this daily that is being recorded on Wednesday, September 20th. Now, daily reading does not mean it's happening this day. It's timeless still. Okay. But if you want more readings like this, come on over, join Harmonia Friends. It's as low as $5 a month um, and you get access to all of the readings over there and some fun things like giveaways and stuff. Otherwise, uh, this is where we part ways.